Let's say that you want to see how much traffic do you get each month on your website, and you want to have this as a chart. Even though this sounds pretty basic, but currently you cannot do that in GA4. So in this video, I will show you a quick workaround with Looker Studio. First, let me show you the problem in the interface of Google Analytics 4. So if you have some report and you have a chart and you want to change the granularity of it because the default is by day, then there is no option, at least when I'm recording this video. Alternatively, I try to create a chart in explorations and to see how many sessions that I get each month. And that was also not possible. So here I had a freeform exploration. The visualization was line chart. Then there are no breakdowns. The values is sessions. And I selected more than one year. So here I have the granularity option. However, month remains disabled and it always is. I'm not sure why this is happening, probably a bug or some other inconsistency in Google Analytics 4. But right now I cannot have a monthly view of my sessions or users. Maybe in the future it will be available. So if you're watching this, let's say a year after the video is published, so it's still worth checking, maybe the month option will be enabled at that point. But right now the granularity that is available is hour, day and week. So if you want to see how many sessions did you get each month, right now your option would be Looker Studio. So to build a report there, you should go to lookerstudio.google.com, then click blank report, then click Google Analytics and select a property that you want to connect. This time I will select this account, then this property and click add. And here it will add one table, but we don't need this. So I can just delete it. And then let's add a new chart, which is time series. So I will just drag it like here. And we can already see that it shows the views and it shows views where the granularity is daily. However, we are looking for a monthly granularity. Therefore, instead of this dimension, we will select month and then choose it. Now we need to select a longer time period. So that could be done, for example, by adding a control and that control is date range selector. And if I select, for example, something like the beginning of the year till this day, we will see views by each month. This is how many views this property received in June. This is how many views it received in September and so on. So this is looking at the page views, or in other words, the metric is called views. You could also look at sessions. So we can copy this, we can paste it here, then drag it lower, and then change the metric in this chart from views to sessions. And this is how many sessions did this property receive every month. If you want to see two metrics in the same chart, then you can select that chart, then add metric and select sessions. And now I see how many views and sessions did I get each month. And the final tip in this video is that you could also narrow down into a particular traffic source. So that could be done by having drop down list control. And then here, instead of month, you could select, let's say session source medium, which is here. And now if let's say if I preview the report, I can go here and select, let's say just Google organic. And this is how many page views and sessions did I get from Google organic each month. And that is how you can build a report with monthly view of your website traffic. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to my channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.